next is bitwise operators in python bitwise operators which operates on bits that is on binary digits zeros and ones we have different uh, bitwise operators available in python bitwise and bitwise or not xor left shift and right shift we'll see it one by one so first is bitwise and operators it returns 1 if both the bits are 1 otherwise it returns 0 so in this example we have taken two values that is a as 10 and b as 5 so we'll represent both the numbers in the binary so binary of 10 is 1010 and binary of 5 is 0101 and when we perform bitwise and operation as we say that it returns 1 if both bits are 1 so the last digits that is msb is 0 1 so 0 and 1 is 0 1 and 0 is 0 0 and 1 is 0 1 and 1 1 and 0 is 0 so it results in all zeros so result of 10 and 5 is 0 so this is a bitwise and operator it per it performs the operation on the digits binary digits so to perform this operation first we need to convert our numbers into the binary perform the and operation and again we'll get the result in decimal so it these process will be automatically done at the background so no worry about it but the internally it performs the operation like this first it will convert the, the digits into the binary decimal digits into the binary it performs the and operation bitwise and operation and it will give the result back in the decimal same way we have bitwise or operator in bitwise or operator it returns one if one of the bit is bits is one otherwise it returns zero so for same numbers if we find out the or so ms lsb is zero one so zero or one is one one or zero is one zero or one is one one or zero is one so it is the decimal of 15 so we'll get the result as 15 10 or 5 result will get as 15 then bitwise not operator which returns the ones complement of the number so to get the ones complement of number first we have converted decimal 10 to the binary that is 1010 so it is represented using tilde operator so tilde of a that is not of a that is when we perform it just replace 0 by 1 and 1 by 0 so we'll perform it and then we'll get the result as 5 uh, in decimal format but when you actually perform this operation on the console you will not get the result as 5 because this negation operation is performed that is not operation is performed along with the sign bit of the number so if you want to uh, represent any number in binary so take the f the msb of every that is most significant bit of the number as consider it as a sign bit if your number is positive number consider that bit as zero if your number is negative number consider that digit as or that bit as one so 10 is a positive number so we'll represent it as zero one 010 and perform now perform the negation operation on it replace the digits so we'll get the 10101 and as the first digit msb we are getting it as 1 so represent it as means when we get the decimal number from any binary number what we are doing we are multiplying that number that is 1 or 0 with the 2 raised to its place value so and we are doing the addition of it so for the sign bit represent that number in negative format that is minus 2 raised to the place of it so first one that is most significant bit of this number uh, is present at the fourth index and lsb we can consider at starts from zeroth bit so one is placed at zero then second bit is 0 which is placed at index 1 
third is one that is placed at index two zero is present at index three and that one is present at index four but it is a it is considered as a sign bit so represent it as when you collectively when you collectively represent this number so this was our number 10101 so when you going to convert this number into the decimal it is represented as 1 into uh, now this first digit is a uh, uh, most significant bit considered for the uh, representing the sign so it is taken as 1 into minus 2 raised to 4 plus second digit is 0 so 0 into 2 raised to 3 then 1 into 2 raised to 2 then 0 plus 0 into 2 raised to 1 and last one <coughs> is 1 into 2 raised to 0. So, this 1 into 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 0 is 1. So, 1 into 1. So, this results in 1. 0 multiplied with any number results in 0 then 1 into 2 raised to 2 that is 4 so this 4 and this 1 4 plus 1 is 5 0 multiplied with any number is 0 and 1 into minus 2 raised to 4 so it results in uh, 16 so minus 16 plus 4 so it uh, it results in minus so plus 5 it results in minus 11 so when you perform this operation on console like negation of 10 you will get the result as minus 11 so here you will get the result as minus 11 for negation operation and for bitwise and so 10 and 5 you will get the result as 0 as we have seen this example and 10 or 5 you will get the result as 15. So, in this way you can get the result you can perform the operation on bits using bitwise operators. So, this is bitwise not operator when we perform bitwise not operator we need to take an into account the sign bit of the number then we will get the correct result then XOR bitwise XOR operator it returns 0 if both bits are equal otherwise it returns 1 so here we have considered two different numbers 10 and 9 10 is represented as 1010 and 9 is represented as 1001 so when we perform XOR operation so for if you consider the most significant bits of two numbers it is 1 so 1 or 1 x or 1 it results in 0 because here it is written that if it returns 0 if both the bits are equal either they are 0 or 1 if both are equal it results in 0 otherwise it results in uh, 1 so here you can say check that 10 x or 9 it results in 3 so same result we are getting that is 3 so first it is get converted into the binaries and it will perform the xor operation in xor operation if both the bits are equal then it returns the zero value otherwise if both the bits are different then it returns one value 